Things that people do when they love you very much. 1. Alteration. If someone thinks you are attractive, they might want you to like them too. They want to get your attention, so they go out of their way to look better, which sometimes means changing how they look. If someone likes you, they will wear flattering clothes and style their hair to show off their best features. Other people, on the other hand, will use their behavior to make themselves more attractive. Men, for example, puff up their chests when they're around women they like. Now, this makes them look more like men, which can make them more attractive. So, if someone changes the way they look or act to draw attention to themselves, they want you to look at them and hope you like what you see. 2. The back of the eyes. What part of your body sends the strongest romantic signals? Well, the eyes are usually the first clue that someone is interested in you romantically. Why? Because you can't help but look at people whom you find attractive. When someone you like walks into a room, your eyes go straight to them. In other words, signs of attraction include when you look, how you look, and where you look. If someone likes you, they'll sneak looks at you, stare a little too long, and make up reasons to look in your direction. There are many ways that your eyes can show that you're interested in someone, but we need to talk about the most important one, which is eye contact. When you look at someone, you show that you are interested, open, and curious. When you look at someone for more than a few seconds, you're sending a strong message that you're paying full attention to them. But staring at someone for a long time has an even deeper meaning. When you look into the eyes of someone you like, you may feel like you know them on a deep level. You might feel vulnerable, nervous, or like you have a strong physical connection to the truck that makes your heart beat faster or makes you smile. So, ask yourself this if you want to know if someone likes you. How do your eyes feel when you if looking deeply into someone's eyes makes you feel nervous or overwhelmed, you may have a strong physical connection with that person. 3. Vocal Variants your voice is a big part of how physically attractive you are. People are attracted to certain voices because of their pitch, volume, and unique timbre. Some voices are annoying and don't sound good, while others are charming or hard to resist. While most vocal tastes are different for each person, we can accurately measure some patterns. For example, a 2014 study in the journal Evolution and Human Behavior found that men automatically lower the pitch of their voices when talking to attractive people. A lower voice often shows that a person is more dominant and surer of themselves, which makes their voice more attractive to women. In other words, if someone likes you, they might change the tone of their voice. They want to get you to listen to them because they want to connect with you physically. They want you to like how their voice sounds because they think you're pretty. 4. Romantic Grabbing If someone is physically attracted to you, they may come into your space, look for ways to get closer and lean toward you. They'll sit next to you and close the distance between your body and theirs. So, let's say you're out on a date with someone you like, and you want to know if it's going well. Is this person interested in you for real? Do you have the chance to move forward? Well, to answer these questions, just look at how far away you are from each other. Are you two gravitating toward each other and getting closer and closer every time? Are you getting closer to your date? Even if you're sitting across the table from someone, it's often easier to look at one body part instead of the whole person. For instance, this person might be sitting in the same spot as you but with their hands outstretched and their legs tangled with yours. In other words, some part of their body has entered your bubble, so if you notice any of these changes, this person is attracted to you whether they know it or not. Most people don't mean to do these things. Instead, they slowly start to move toward you. Well, imagine you're the sun at the center of the solar system and this person is a planet caught in your gravity. They can't stop themselves from getting closer to you because they can't stop being drawn to you. 5. The Glow of Gold When you like someone, your body does something really weird, and your skin starts to glow almost as if it were made of gold. Now, your skin isn't glowing, even though it looks like it's turning gold. 
It's making a unique sheen by reflecting the light around you. But why does your skin shine more than usual? What does light have to do with the way people feel about each other? Well, it's not as exciting as it sounds. Your skin is putting out more oil in the form of sweat, which makes it shine. When you sweat, it sits on top of your skin and makes it more reflective. In other words, you're glowing because you're nervous and sweating. And when someone we like is sitting right in front of us, we can get nervous and sweaty. So, if someone is glowing, it means they are nervous around you. When they're around you, their bodies go into overdrive and they sweat. It's not always a pretty sight, but people who sweat around you like you. 6. Signs of Comfort Attraction is not easy to understand. And it can mess with your head sometimes. So, let's say you're spending time with someone you like. Even though you like this person, getting to know them is hard on your mind. It makes you feel worried and stressed, and it makes you feel bad about yourself. So how do you find out if someone likes you? Look for things they do to calm themselves down, like rubbing their hands or fidgeting in other ways. If you see these signs of nervousness, this person may be worried about you more than usual. When you're in the room, they can't calm down. They can't stop thinking about you, and it's making them crazy. 7. Dynamic Contact There are many reasons to touch someone, some of which are pleasant and polite. How can you tell the difference between a professional touch and a romantic one? Well, just think about how a handshake is different from a hug. Handshakes are a formal way to meet someone and make physical contact without getting too close. For a hug, on the other hand, you have to touch the whole person. Getting a hug is a much better answer. So, we shake hands with people we don't know, but we hug our friends and partners. Touch is even more exciting on a date, which is a romantic situation. Instead of handshakes and hugs, which are more formal. If someone finds you attractive, they might touch you to show how they feel. They'll start with something safe, like a handshake or a touch on the arm, but if their feelings for each other grow, their touches may become more intimate. They'll put their hand on your lower back, put their arm around your shoulders, or touch your leg with theirs. As the number of touches goes up, so does the level of attraction. In other words, this person is making her physical relationship stronger by touching her. All you must do if you want the same thing is return the favor. 8. Biological Attraction What other signs from the body show love or attraction? So, let's say you just met someone, and you want to talk to them. You saw them from across the room and finally got up the nerve to talk to them. Now you wonder if they think you're pretty. Look at how their skin looks. The apples of their cheeks. Are they red and pink? When you said hello, did their face turn red? When you feel strong emotions like excitement or attraction, your body sends out a flood of adrenaline. Adrenaline triggers dilation in your blood vessels. Dilation makes it possible for more blood and oxygen to reach your skin, especially in sensitive places like your cheeks, neck, and chest. When blood rushes to a certain spot on your skin, it turns pink. This is called mushing. So, if someone blushes around you, it means they are feeling something strongly, like happiness or fear. In either case, their body responds to you because they are biologically drawn to you. 9. Can't get on track. Does this person find it hard to pay attention? Do you feel like they're not paying attention? Most of the time, how well we listen is not a good sign. If someone isn't paying attention, you might think they're bored, but it could be a sign of something else. Let's say you're having a conversation with someone who has a huge crush on you. Their mind is all screwed up. It's full of questions, guesses, and jittery thoughts. They are trying very hard to make you like them. They worry about what you're thinking or what you're going to say next. And their worry keeps them from listening to what is being said. Even though it seems like they don't care, nothing could be further from the truth. They are scattered and stressed out because all they want is a stronger relationship with you. 10. Think about happiness. When you laugh, do they laugh? 
When you smile, do they smile back? When someone likes you, they act like a mirror that shows you how you feel. If someone finds you attractive, they might feel closer to you emotionally. Because they care about what you think and feel, they may have a stronger sense of empathy for you. This person is happy when you're happy because they find you attractive. They might laugh at a joke they didn't understand, or they might smile just because you're smiling.